Okay, welcome to another optimization, utility optimization, utility maximization problem. Um, for dealing with uh, graphs, indifference curves, budget constraints, that sort of thing. So this question is taken from Krugman Wells, Microeconomics, Second Edition, Chapter 11, which is the Consumer Preference and Consumer Choice Chapter, Question 12. So it's a gas station question. Gus spends his income on gas for his car and food. So gas and food. The government raises the tax on gas, thereby raising the price of gas. But the government also lowers the income tax, thereby making Gus's income, thereby increasing Gus's income. Um, as this rise in income, uh, and this rise in income is just enough to place Gus on the same indifference curves as the one he was before the price of gas rose. Um, will Gus buy more, less, or the same amount of gas as before? This changes. Let's show you with the diagram, placing gas on the horizontal axis and food on the vertical axis. Okay, so that's what we've done here. Quantity of food on the vertical axis. So this is a high quantity of food. This is a low quantity of food. Quantity of gas on the horizontal axis. Down here you got a low quantity of gas. Up here you got a high quantity of gas. And then here I just kind of put an arbitrary indifference curve. That is anywhere on this point here. Uh, gas is indifferent too. He could have tons of food over here and small amounts of gas and be just as happy uh, as over here where he has tons of gas and very little food. So here's our budget constraint. Or we're going to call it budget constraint one. Uh, and then there's two things that happen, right? So the first is the gas tax. So let's think about what that effect is going to be. So if the price of gas goes up, then that means Gus, I'm just going to have a new budget constraint over here. That means Gus can afford a smaller amount of gas, right? So where before, given a price of gas, um, he could, Gus could purchase this quantity over here. Now with the gas tax, that means he uh, is forced to buy fewer or smaller amounts of gas. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that was given was uh, there's a reduce lower income tax. So income tax has gone down. So that I'm going to do is expand out this person's consumption a bit over here so they could purchase a bit more gas. And then on this axis over here, on the quantity of food axis, um, an increase in, sorry, a decrease in the income tax, making him more rich, uh, allows him to make, uh, you know, to purchase more um, food. Because they have more money, he's able to purchase more food, pushing up the budget constraint over here. So I've position the new budget constraint, the budget line, I'm going to call it BL2. So this is BL2, this is the new budget constraint. So once again on this point over here, um, we went from the old quantity of gasoline here down to this point. So we know that the price of gas has gone up, so that's the explanation for the decrease in the maximum gas that this person, that gas could get. Uh, and then also with the decrease in income tax, there was some kind of push out with the, the budget line. So this axis over here is definitely pushed out because it's able to purchase more things. And then the last tidbit was that, uh, and the rise in income is just enough to place Gus, you know, the new budget line, on the same indifference curve as the one he was on before the crisis rose. So that's why, you know, the why did I choose this point here and not up here, not down here? It's because it said that the new point was going to be on the old indifference curve. So this point over here. So where before he would, Gus was at some point in this area, you know, there was a lot of gas and, and a smaller quantity of food. Now Gus is at this point over here um, where his food consumption has gone up and his gas consumption has gone down. So we could definitely say, you know, will gas buy, will Gus buy more, less, or the same amount of gas? We could definitely say that um, Gus has decreased his consumption of gas because in order to stay on this indifference curve, and in order for you know to get these budget line moves, you know, given the question, uh, Gus has to have reduced his quantity of gas. Simple as that. Uh, thanks, and have a good day. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Uh, also note that uh, you know this video is one of a large collection of videos 
kind of exploring topics in introductory uh, microeconomics. So I'll put a link to, to more question and answers and more videos in the description. Um, have a good day. Bye.